Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about focusing techniques and especially the autofocus tracking. Now I have a um, few videos about focusing techniques and manual focusing techniques and point-to-point -point focusing techniques, you know, in autofocus and this would be the second part of the autofocus video series and it is about uh, tracking. Now, I have to tell you that I'm not a professional sports photographer or wildlife photographer. I'm a portrait and wedding photographer, but in the same time, I do a lot of uh, uh, rugby matches and I, I shoot a lot for my son's rugby club. So um, I have kind of experience in sports photography. I would not say the same about wildlife and uh, flying birds and these kind of things. You know, I don't even really have a lens for that. But um, I do sometimes, I try with my lenses, you know, and uh, I would say mostly I have experience in sports and uh, in tracking. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the tips and my opinion about this. Now, at the beginning, when I started, you know, to do uh, to, to, to shoot sports, you know, I used to have the Nikon D7200 and uh, I was shooting a lot with that camera. But in the same time, <sighs> I have to tell you that uh, at the beginning I just didn't got my shots, you know, and I was very, very surprised. What's the problem? Why I don't get uh, sharp shots, you know, and uh, I just, I just couldn't imagine what was the problem. Now, one by one and slowly, slowly, I figured out myself, you know, that there are some tips what you have to do to get the best shots possible. Now, let's talk a little bit about these, uh, these tips in this video. So first tip would be, I don't like to use a lot of autofocus points. Uh, sorry, I will chim down on my phone over here because I made a few notes so I don't forget that. I don't want to be rude, just sorry about that. So I don't like to use a lot of autofocus points because it will look the closest, because the camera will look the closest person to the, to the lens, you know. So what it means, Let's say my subject is running, you know, in the field, in the um, soccer field or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever sports we are talking about. And my subject is running and I'm tracking my subject. But in the same time, some other player will run in the front of the camera. And if you use a lot of points, you know, well, this, this, this was my experience. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't say that you cannot use it. But I figured out that with these cameras I used, you know, that was the best possible way. So when somebody comes in in the front, the camera will focus on, on him, you know, and lose the, the tracked person. Now, again, Sony cameras are really, really good in this manner. And they have actually a focusing mode or something, you know, when, where you can switch on, you know, that. And it's especially for tracking, you know, and that is really, really good, I tell you. I used to own the Sony A6000, the Sony A7R and the A7 Mark II and I tried several times and they, that works really well. Now Nikon camera does not have that but Nikon camera has the 3D tracking and that is again really good. And uh, I use uh, Fuji cameras, you know, uh, especially now these days I use the Fuji X-T20 for, uh, for sports photography, you know, and the autofocus is just fast enough, it's no problem and it tracks well but I do these tips, you know, to do that. So. If I choose the middle points, you know, the only the middle points in the frame to track my subject and I follow with the camera, you know, my subject, the camera, it works perfectly fine, you know. Now, also, Fuji cameras have a, a possibility to select if you want the autofocus to change quickly on the new subject or to, to change slowly and to stay focused on the subject you are tracking. If you have in your camera this kind of possibility, and you want to track a, a specific subject something, then you have to set that to slow because then the camera will stay on that person which is tracked at the moment. And even if somebody will, will get into the frame, the camera will get to that person very slowly, you know. So if somebody gets in and gets out of the frame, the camera will still stay on the person you are tracking. So Fuji cameras have this. Now, I don't know about uh, Nikon does not have that. Now, I don't know about other cameras, you know, Sony, I, as I know, you don't, they don't have that. But the newer Sony cameras might have that. I don't know that. So that was the first tip. The second tip, turn off face detection when you are tracking subjects because it will, 
recognize other faces, you know. The example, like I said before, you are tracking a person on a soccer field or a rugby field or whatever field, you know, and then another player will come into the frame and the camera will recognize his face, you know, and immediately it, when, when the camera sees a face and it's closer to the lens, to the camera, it will focus immediately on that one. So you don't want face detection, you know, in, uh, when you are tracking subjects. That's not a good idea. That's my experience. The third point is, um, if you shoot with zoom, yeah, don't zoom in and out while you are uh, tracking somebody. Now, if you do that, you can do it if you have your lens, uh, that lens, if that lens is allowing you to do that. Now, I used to have uh, the Sigma 50 to 100 f1.8, you know, and, and I tell you something, that lens is allowing you to, to, to focus and zoom in and out and the subject in the front of you will be in focus. Now, not all the lenses do that. Not all the lenses allow that. So in some situations, you have to figure this out because in some situations, if you zoom in and out, the, the, the camera will lose the focus. Now, if your lens is supporting this, then it's completely fine. You can do that. If your lens does not support this, then you are in trouble. So you have to watch when you track your subject, you know, you try not to zoom in and out unless you are 100% sure that your lens is supporting that. Now, uh, the next tip would be is that turn off uh, the, uh, tell me, the um, image stabilization. Sorry, I just, just didn't get into my mind, you know. Turn off your image stabilization if you are on tripod. Now, I tell you something. This many times you forget this, you know, and in some situation I forget this and it can ruin your shots. You know, it won't be really bad, but it will be softer. The images will be softer. So you don't want your image stabilization on while you are shooting on a tripod. If you use a tripod now, obviously, if you shoot sports, you know, most of the time you will not use tripod, but I use monopods. And I tell you something, I noticed that even with monopod, you know, it's better if I turn off my image stabilization. If I shoot handheld, no problem at all. But even if I use monopod, sometimes I switch off image stabilization, you know, in, in, on the lens. Now, this is only my experience and this is only my opinion. But in, while doing this, you know, I got sharper and better photos. And I will place uh, some photos up uh, on the screen so you can see, you know, the, the shots I did using these tips and you can see they are excellent shots. Now, like I said, these are not uh, rules which cannot be broken. No, these are only my experience. These are my uh, um, opinion. And I got this by experimenting and, uh, and trying a lot of stuff, you know, and I got these tips, you know, and helped me a lot to get better shots. So I wanted to share with you so you can get better shots. Now, if you think that I forgot something or if you think that you can add something to this video, feel free and leave a comment down below. If you think that uh, there are another tip, you know, which is good and I, I might learn from it, you know, feel free and leave a comment down below. I would like to hear your opinion. I always like to hear your opinion because we can learn from each other. That's the, the, the main point of this community, you know, so we can learn from each other. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share my videos. And if you would like to support this channel, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you didn't until now. And hit the little bell button near the, not uh, near the subscribe button to get notified when I upload another video. And other than that, I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.
but here on 